what is up welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen for another organizational deep cleaning video if you missed it i did recently posted a pantry organization video got that entirely done from top to bottom and it looks wonderful so if you missed that go check that out after this video i'll be sure to link it so you can't miss it but today i'm cleaning out our refrigerator it is so long overdue it needs to be done it's really bad it's gotten cluttered it's gotten dirty and it needs to be scrubbed top to bottom it needs to be taken out everything taken out and put back in there also we're going to be picking up some groceries so i'll be showing you guys that as well um but other than that that's what we're doing today getting this fridge cleaned out it's pretty bad let's take a look at it Guys, I was not lying when I said our refrigerator was pretty cluttered and pretty dirty. As you guys can see for yourself here, it's not like completely, like not every shelf was full. We have like one shelf that was open. That's also because we were needing to get groceries. So one of my least favorite parts of cleaning out the refrigerator is taking everything out first. I just hate that process because it takes a good little chunk of time. So I thought today to help motivate myself to get it all done, I thought I would set a 10 minute timer and try to take everything out within that timer. So if you guys don't have a lot of time today to watch this entire video, maybe you just came here for the grocery haul, you can go ahead and skip forward to about the 20 minute mark. That is where the grocery haul will begin if you are looking for that. So for those of you who are returning subscribers to my channel, I just wanted to say welcome back. So glad you guys are here today. If you're doing some deep cleaning along with me, I hope that you guys have good luck on your cleaning endeavors. If you're watching today just to be motivated to get to some deep cleaning, I hope you find all of the motivation that you are looking for. As I was on the last shelf in the refrigerator, my timer went off, so I felt pretty good about pulling everything out within 10 minutes. Now that everything has been cleared off of the shelves and the drawers, now you can start to see how dirty this fridge actually was. And as you can tell in the first two shelves, we have these placemats down. They're nice for like an easy cleanup. You can remove them easier than the entire shelf um, and just wipe them down. All of the drawers were just pretty nasty. And I have tried cleaning the refrigerator out while leaving the drawers in place and it is super hard to get it completely cleaned. The inside and especially the underneath of all of the drawers are really hard to just get cleaned while they're in the fridge. So today I'm going to be taking literally every single thing out. So I pulled our fridge out of this little spot, that way I can open the door completely and now I'm just removing everything shelf by shelf, drawer by drawer. If you are not a returning subscriber and this is your first time checking out my videos, I just want to say hey, I'm Courtney Lynn. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you will subscribe so that we can stay connected and you'll be notified with more organization, deep cleaning content like this coming in the next few weeks. I'm really excited for you guys to see all that I have planned. I was honestly really shocked at how dirty this refrigerator was when I took everything out, especially the bottom of the fridge was pretty nasty. I was like, we are clean people and this is where we store our food. Like this place is nasty. So definitely gonna be a good little before and after for you guys to see how clean we got this thing. What I did first, because there was lots of crumbs everywhere, is I took a dry paper towel and I'm just kind of removing every single one of those crumbs, well, as best as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna go with some Lysol Concentrate Cleaner. This is just Lysol Concentrate mixed with water. I've showed you guys this before, how I make this. And I'm just spraying it all over the refrigerator, gonna let that set in and kind of do the magic of disinfecting. And then I'll go back through with a, you know, a wet cloth and wipe everything down. Mm -hmm. 
My first priority was the inside of the refrigerator rather than the refrigerator door with all of those shelves. So that's why I have left the door like how it is because I'm going to get as much as I can of the inside of the refrigerator done and put back those groceries before I start working on the door. That way I can close it while I'm cleaning the door shelves. So while the refrigerator was drying from what I had just cleaned it with, I'm gonna go ahead and hand wash these placemats that go on the first two shelves, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash the first two shelves themselves. Now, I have done it before where you just wipe down the shelves, you know, with cleaner and a cloth, and that works, but to me, the most efficient way to get your refrigerator deep cleaned is to take everything out and wash it in the sink. It is so much more time consuming. It's definitely awkward because the shelves themselves don't always fit in the sink, but it is so much better of a clean. You can get in all of those hard to reach spots and the water itself will clean out what your rag cannot reach. It's just way better in my opinion. I laid out a towel on the dining room table and I'm gonna just be placing all of the shelves here in the drawers and turning that fan on high to get them dry as fast as possible. Now back to the inside of the fridge, I'm using this Sprayway all-purpose cleaner. It cleans and disinfects and I'm just gonna spray this kind of all over and then I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth and the reason that I do this is the microfiber cloth catches anything. If I have missed it, it will pick it up and also it kind of just, if there was any streaks left over from the Lysol cleaner, it will pick those up and it just makes it look fantastic. Microfiber cloths are like the finishing touch that I like to put when I'm cleaning. Now that these shelves were all clean and dried, I'm gonna be wiping them down with a microfiber cloth and then popping them back in the refrigerator. Then I'm gonna move on to all of the drawers for the fridge and start washing those and then laying them out on the table as well so that they can start drying.
everything for the inside of the refrigerator is put back into place. All I have left now to do is fill it back with food and then get started on the door of the refrigerator. So you will start to see as I'm placing things back in, it's probably going to look really nice right now because we don't have as much groceries as we normally do. Later when we get that grocery haul, it is going to fill this puppy up really fast. This little container that I'm washing, we use this for kind of more of the random items in the fridge. You know, you have lots of different group items in the fridge, and then we just have this one group that's just a bunch of random stuff that don't really have a, a bigger group to be matched with. So that's what I'm doing with this little container, just putting some of those random things together. And that way we can easily pull this little container out and get to those smaller items. So when I'm deep cleaning, I usually have something in mind that I'm gonna like reward myself with or get to a certain point and I'm like, okay, now it's time to be refreshed. And this was that point of the deep clean. So my treat right now that I am so addicted to, which I'm already addicted to Diet Dr. Pepper, it's my favorite soda in the world, but the thing that I love right now that my mom introduced me to is adding this zero sugar coffee creamer. It sounds so disgusting. I totally know that it's it's weird, but you guys have got to try it because it is seriously so delicious. And now I crave it like every single day. It's become my thing that I like reward myself with. I try not to drink too much of it, but you know, like I said, I'm kind of addicted to it. For this drawer right here, I am placing a paper towel down because this is where we're going to place all of our vegetables. And I just wanted a paper towel down in both of these drawers to catch any type of moisture. Well now that the inside of the fridge is all cleaned, it's time to move on to the door and I'm removing each of the little shelves. And then I'm going to spray this down and let it sit. Like I said earlier, work its magic by disinfecting and I'm going to hand wash each of these shelves and then get them dried and ready to be placed back in. pretty fast through this part of the video because it's a lot of just me placing things back on their shelves where they go and organizing them by food groups. So we have one shelf that is all of our Asian styled sauces for when we make Chinese styled food and then we have one for you know Mexican food and then all of our other stuff for like hamburgers and sandwiches things like that and then the bottom drawer we always put all of our sweets. Thing that I had forgotten to do that I really wanted to do was to clean out this egg carton. It was pretty gross looking. I should have got a close up for you guys, um, but I'm gonna scrub this by hand and then refill those eggs and then um, hopefully get some more later to stock this back up. Well, 
Well, now that the inside of the fridge is complete, I definitely wanted to get the outside of the fridge complete as well. So I'm starting by removing all of these magnets and then I'm gonna move to the top of the fridge. And as you can see, where it has sat underneath the cabinet has not been dusted in a good long while. So I'm going to clean that up and get this thing looking a little bit better. Now behind the fridge there were a few things that needed to be vacuumed up so I'm trying to grab those really quickly and then I'm going to jump back there here in a second and kind of wipe down a few of the spots that I see. One thing that I noticed needed to be done was the inside of the refrigerator, like around the edges right here. That definitely needed to be wiped down because it was looking a little bit grimy and I did not want to miss that. Now for the front of the fridge, I'm just taking a little bit of my cleaner and my cloth and just wiping down this little area right here. And then I'm going to move on to the stainless steel. This has become one of my favorite cleaners, stainless steel cleaners. It's by Sprayway. You guys know I love the Sprayway glass cleaner. So when we found this stainless steel polish, I just had to try it and I have loved it so much. It is seriously just as good as anything else I've ever tried for stainless steel. It leaves zero streaks and it's a really easy clean. Let's take a look at the fridge right now. Everything put back into place. We still have yet to go get all of our groceries, so this thing will be filled to the brim when that is finished, but it definitely is clean from top to bottom. Every little square inch of this fridge is much, much better, and I can sleep better at night knowing that. So later we went and got all of our groceries, so I'm gonna be showing you guys our grocery haul now. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. I don't know about you guys, but I love, love, love grocery haul videos. So I hope that you enjoy this as well. Then after the grocery haul, that will wrap up our video today. All right, here is our grocery haul. Gonna go through and show you everything that we got. All right, so we have two separate grocery stores. We have Winco here and then Walmart over there. So I'll start with Winco. We got some meat. My mom's gonna make what she calls Chinese pepper steak and it is so bomb. Some drumsticks. Now we do not ever cook chicken on the bone. So this is gonna be an experiment because my dad loves this. So I can, I can handle it a little bit. So I'm kind of excited to see what that, how that turns out. We got some chicken because we eat chicken like crazy. 
orange juice. Me and my sister love to drink juice with our breakfast. Some more milk and then almond milk because I love almond milk in my smoothies. If I ever make a smoothie or a milkshake, I love that way better because it's less Weight Watchers points than regular milk or even fat-free milk. We got some light whipped topping because my mom makes a few little desserts for Weight Watchers um, that we use a lot of this stuff. And then we got some Triscuits. We munch on those all the time. Some waffles. My siblings love those for breakfast. Turkey pepperoni because these are less points than the regular pepperoni. And they're good for like a little snack. We got some angel hair coleslaw because we're going to be doing um, like a shrimp uh, shrimp tacos with some yummy coleslaw stuff. I've made it before on my channel. I can link that. Brussels sprouts because our family loves eating those. And then we got some peppers because we can do fajitas with these. Um, they're just really nice to have on hand, those mixed veggies. Some more eggs, we go through those so quickly. We got some corn and some diced tomatoes. Always have those on hand because we are constantly eating corn and then making tomato uh, salsa and things like that. Now this stuff is sugar-free strawberry lemonade. Actually, yes, yeah, it is sugar-free. And uh, that's really, really good to have on hand. It tastes really good even though it is sugar-free. I like it. This is just a little bit of salsa we got for the week. Some olives, some fresh strawberries, some red wine vinegar, and also some dill relish because we eat a lot of tuna salad. And then some veggies to have on hand for tacos and different things through the week. Bell peppers because I want to eat some bell peppers with like dipping it in hummus. I think that would be good or like cream cheese. I saw that on the internet and it sounded good. And then one avocado. All right, and then moving on to Walmart. So over here we got a ton of this Canadian bacon. And the reason we got so much of it is because we make breakfast sandwiches like every day and we go through this a lot. Also with this Velveeta cheese slices, same thing. I'll make those um, breakfast sandwiches in a video soon so you guys can see what I'm talking about. My sister wanted to try some zucchini and, I'm sorry, cucumber and mint flavored like water. She's kind of into that right now, so we got that for her. Veggie straws, we love these. They're not very many Weight Watchers points, and so they're nice to have like with lunch or for a snack if you need a little bit of crunch. We got some fat-free cheeses and reduced fat. Some refried beans because those are <laughs> zero points on Weight Watchers. More tomatoes, black beans, chicken broth, more tuna because like I said, we eat a lot of tuna these days. And then we just got some dishwasher rinse aid, some deodorant, and some face cleaner, some dog food, more foil, napkins, plates. These are nice to have for breakfast and lunch instead of doing a million dishes every day. We got some more salt for our salt grinder and needed more cotton rounds. We were running low on the essentials, which is the energy drinks from Walmart. My favorite flavor, which is the watermelon limeade. Also picked up some more dish soap because we were practically out of that. Some whole wheat penne pasta. This tastes like seriously just as good as the regular pasta, but it is less Weight Watchers points. We got two marinades for um, dinners this week. We got a garlic parmesan if we wanted to do it on the um, wings, chicken wings, and then honey sriracha, one of the best flavors you could ever get on shrimp. So bomb. Then over here, we got some cottage cheese because we like to make a little Weight Watchers dessert with that. We don't eat it on its own. More essentials. Diet Dr. Pepper, my favorite soda in the world. And then these light multi-grain English muffins that are only two Weight Watchers points. We go through those a ton as well. And then a little bit, last but not least, we have some sugar-free stuff. Oh, I almost missed these. Hang on. These were sprinkles that we found for 50 cents. So my mom got them because my sister has her little cookie stuff, her little cookie decorating, so she picked those up for her. My mom always finds the best clearance deals. Here's another clearance deal. This is a sugar-free cake and muffin mix in deluxe cinnamon swirl made with Splenda. So we're gonna try that out. Also sugar-free white cake and also chocolate cake, chocolate fudge. It's like a brownie. 
and then sugar-free butterscotch, which is super good if you're on Weight Watchers. If you need something sweet, puddings are the way to go. Also got sugar-free icing, frosting, and that's really good as well. So we'll be trying out those things. But this is our haul. We got a ton of stuff. Now to put it all away and use it all up. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this deep clean and grocery haul with me. I hope you enjoyed the transformation of this refrigerator. As always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you are not subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button so we can stay connected here. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.